Hello guys, Pezre here. Okay, so I haven't done a video for a couple of days. Whew, a couple of days. Seems so long. But anyway, we're going to do a video today and I'm going to show you an update of my house and how it's coming along. I think it's coming along pretty cool. I've probably got four more spaces before my house is complete. But I've got some work to do. I want to do some stuff I want to do in the garden. I want to put some bookshelves and stuff in places. Um, so I am going to have to jig it about. But yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the music play and let you guys watch me as I run around my house so you get a little tour. So that is my house and this is my garden area. It seems a bit dull. I do need to add some extra stuff to it. But you know, with all the grinding that I'm doing at the moment, I'm trying to get this jewel wheel finished for at least, at the very least, or should I say at the very most, two weeks time. Um, I do find though, after you've done a really hard grind, there's nothing better than just coming here and standing next to my bed and clicking it a few times like so nothing happens so it makes it look really silly but then I go around here and I chill in my bed so yeah that's pretty cool so yeah um, I don't know if many people know this um, I know a lot of people do but there'll be a lot of people that don't you can actually interact with the furniture within your house it's just a case of walking straight up to it, um, finding the sweet spot and tapping on the um, bed or chair and you will lay down or sit down. So that is a pretty cool feature. I think that is um, quite funny really that they've added that in. So if you want to come into, for instance, my living room and sit down and watch a bit of TV, maybe a bit of Game of Thrones, no? A bit of Dragon Ball Z maybe, I don't know. But anyway, yeah. So interacting with the furniture is a pretty cool thing. But like I say, I have got a lot more stuff that I want to do in this house. Um, this has just been kind of thrown together. I've changed it two or three times now um, to get it to this. But again, um, my garden's a bit bare. There's some shelves that I want to put up. And yeah, so anyway, listen, I'm going to stop rambling on anyway. Um, so if you have a decent house um, that you think your house is pretty cool why not leave a comment below we can perhaps meet up in the game I can come over to your house and I could video record your house and show it on my YouTube channel if you guys are up for that you know just drop me a comment that's all you need to do send me a comment or even if you see me in a game PM me or whatever and I can do some reviews of your guys houses how does that sound Okay, so on to our next subject. I have been working very, very hard on this dual wheel build. I'm trying to make it as unique as possible. I'm taking ideas from so many different builds and cramming them into one build. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go quiet while you watch me take on the metal stinger and see what you guys think.
Okay guys, there you have it. That is my dual wheel build. It's a little sneak peek. As you can see, it isn't massively overpowered, but that isn't what I'm looking for. There are certain things I'm looking for within this build, and hopefully when it's complete, I will explain more um, to why I think this build is pretty cool. Um, I'm joined by Night Owl for this second fight. Um, he's training up his pet, so we thought we'd both attack it at the same time. Night Owl isn't doing anything, it's just me and his pet. And as you can see, we wipe this thing out fast. So yeah, a um, couple of weeks max, hopefully. I'll have this build uploaded on YouTube and you guys can try it out. And that's it. So that brings us towards the end of the video. I just want to say thank you very much for watching, guys. You know I really do appreciate it. Um, please subscribe, like and comment. And also hit that little notification button to keep up to date with my videos. And I think that's about it. Oh, no, one more thing. Stay safe, guys.